Welcome mathematicians, I'm Andrew Murphy and today we're going to be learning about area models. Before we jump into some examples, let's answer the big question. Why do we need to know this? Why is this an important thing to learn in terms of mathematics? The first and biggest reason happens to be that this is a great method to help us solve multi-digit multiplication problems. And for you visual learners out there, this one works especially well for you. The second reason happens to be it helps us understand the value of numbers even more than we already know. So let's dive right in with an area model example. The problem that we're going to be working on today is 356 times 63. Now those two numbers in a multiplication problem are known as factors. They are the numbers that we multiply together. Let's start with our example. Before we actually start doing any math, we need to create a giant rectangle that we can do our work in. Now that we have our rectangle, I'm ready to set up my problem. I'm going to be putting 356 down this vertical line, and I'm going to be putting 63 along the top. Now, I'm not just going to write 356. No, I'm going to break that up by value. So let's look at the three first. The three is in the hundreds place. What is it actually worth? Well, it is actually worth 300, not three, because it is in the hundreds place. What about the five? The five is in the tens place, so it is actually worth 50. And last but not least, the six is just worth six because it is in our ones place. All right, before I move to my 63, I wanna break this up by lines. So I'm going to put a line dividing my 300 and my 50, and one cutting right through my 50 and my 6. Let's move to 63. Now, the 6 again is in the tens place. So what's it worth? Is it worth just 6? No, guys, you guessed it. It's worth 60. And now, my 3, which is in my ones place, is just worth 3. Just like I did down here, I'm going to separate these two numbers with a line. All right. Just like that. Perfect. Now at this point, we're ready to actually do multiplication. Now my hope is that at this point you have learned some mental strategies to solve multiplication problems when numbers end in zeros. So I'm going to go quickly through that. First, I'm going to multiply 60 times 300, then 60 times 50, and finally 60 times 6. Let's start. 3 times 6 happens to be 18. Now, the three zeros within my factors, 1, 2, 3, I'm going to put those at the bottom, or at the end. 300 times 60 is 18,000. Let's move to the next one. 60 times 50. 6 times 5 is 30. And the two zeros between my two factors, I'm going to put at the end. I got 3,000. Last, I'm going to do 60 times 6. 6 times 6 happens to be 36. And I'm going to represent this 0 from the factor in my answer. Now that I'm done with 60, I can move over to 3. 3 times 300. So 3 times 3 is 9. And I'm going to represent my two zeros that were in my factors. 3 times 5 or I'm sorry, 3 times 50 is 150, and 3 times 6 is 18. All right, guys, we did the multiplication. The hard part is over. Let's now work on our addition. We need to add together all of these numbers that we just created. I'm going to do that off to the side over here. Now, one really important thing to make sure when you are adding is that you are lining up your place values correctly. So I want to make sure that my thousands places are lined up, my hundreds, and my tens. I don't want to do all this hard work just to ruin it in the end and not get the right answer. I'm almost done setting up my addition problem, and then I'll get started actually adding. All right, let's do a quick look before we begin. Did I line everything up accordingly? All right, looks pretty good to me. So I'm going to add a bunch of zeros together with an 8, which just happens to be 8. 
I'm going to add a bunch of zeros to 6, plus 5, which is 11, plus 1, which is 12. I'm going to put my 2 down, and I'm going to carry my 1. 1 plus 3 is 4, plus 9 is 13, plus another 1 is 14. I'm going to carry my 1 again. 1 plus 8 is 9, plus 3 is 12. I'm going to carry my 1 again. 1 plus 1 is 2. All right, guys, we got our product or our answer. 356 times 63 happens to be 22,428. I hope you enjoyed watching this example of an area model. Now, I want you to go out and try it. I know you can do it.